obviously there are some markets with a really bad reputation, right? And fashion is definitely one of them. Mass production, bad working conditions, etc. So there's definitely room to improve and that's what Nguyen is doing and I'm really happy to have you here at the Green Tech Festival. It's Stephanie and Markus, you are both founders of Nguyen. Thanks for joining us, it's huge. Thanks for having us for the second year, it's really exciting. Yeah, we met Thank last you. year. Yeah. What, what did change since then? Well, to be honest, it feels like loads has changed for us in such a short time. Although only nine months actually, right? Because the last Green Tech was in September. That's true. So yeah. I even said to Steffi, I was like, yo, this feels like this year has just gone like this, but nine months. Um, but for us, I think we have learned so much in this past year from when we launched the brand. We thought maybe we were doing so many amazing things at that time. And already in our short journey to here, the learnings that we've had and the ways we've improved um, from the different materials we've had, from the different processes we use, I think that in itself is something we can be quite proud of. Along the way, as I said, there's been so many challenges though. As a startup, launching a brand, a fashion brand, in a global pandemic as it is, this has been a real challenge, to be honest with you. How um, did this affect you, the, the pandemic? A, a lot. I think the unpredictable, the unpredictableness of the whole space, from suppliers having issues, from, you know, one minute this country's in a lockdown and then, okay, Germany, our other biggest market's now in a lockdown. Like, having this kind of lack of understanding of where the world is makes it really hard to, I guess, have a clear vision of where you're trying to go at times. So this was really difficult. But like I said, I think the biggest things we've all learned is amazing lessons along the way. Yeah, and you have obviously a clear vision for the Green, Green Tech Festival here. So Stephanie, what are you presenting at the Green Tech Festival? Presenting three things. So one of them is the Chrome Collection. The Chrome Collection is made by people purchasing. So it is not getting an overstock because one of the biggest problems in our industry is overstock, that brands buy too many clothes and then they can't sell them. And we decided to try this out where the customers order something online and then it is produced just for them. Yeah, it's like a pre-order. Yeah, it's like so a pre-order So because thing. one of the biggest issues in fashion in general is overbuying, is stock, getting the numbers right. Of course. And a perfect example for us was we thought this yellow, when we came up with the idea, we thought yellow was going to be a really popular color. So we thought, okay, in our heads we're going to order this amount of yellow fabric to make the clothes. But when we went out to our audience, This had one order, the yellow had one order, so this was an instant insight to us that we would never have had before from looking, okay, this is actually what the customer wants, not maybe what we think they want. Maybe we need more blue or more green than more yellow. So. And to be honest, it was a success and we hope that the fashion industry can really go into that direction of doing pre-orders. The customer has to wait for much longer, for four weeks. Um, but it is so much better for the environment. So you get a lot of feedback, right? I mean, it's important. Definitely, yeah. To yeah. You a, yeah. And um, it's always positive or are, are there people like complaining about... Yeah, I think both. I think when we first launched the brand, there was a lot of skepticism around what mm. we were trying to achieve. But I think as time has gone on in this short year, one of our like really strong key pillars that we have is transparency. This to us is like the most important thing because if you can be completely open with an audience, if they have questions, if they're not sure on things, that to me is how you build a real loyal community. And that's something we've put right at the forefront of what we do. But we are fans of like a critical conversation mm. because we want consumers to question everything that is going on in the industry and also just in the world. And I think that is actually good that we got some criticism. Yeah. But let's continue with what we with also products, have. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, exactly. So we also show a completely 100% organic hemp trouser. Mm -hmm. um, this is like a very much... Um, more sustainable material than cotton because denims are one of the most polluting items in the fashion industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hemp in general, this is an interesting movement because cotton requires, as we all know, it's a very thirsty crop to feed, it needs lots of water, a lot of chemicals normally yeah. go into cotton. So trying something with hemp is like a different way to do it and it, and it uh, grows much quicker in its natural surroundings. So this is one exciting thing. Um, We also have a we have 100% recycled denim. I'm also wearing them here. This Me was too. quite cool. We did this actually is the trouser, right? yeah, this is yeah. the trouser. Okay. Um, we did actually showcase this last year. This was one of the things that we were proud. We hadn't released it yet, but we were talking about it. Yeah. So this is now finally out. 
Um, and it's made for circularity. Yeah. This is something that every designer now has to have in their minds when they're designing something from scratch, that it can be easily recycled again. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah sorry. I feel, <laughs> I yeah, feel like you probably no, have questions and we're just like talking. talking about sorry. your products, but obviously it's important to know where we can buy them, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I mean, newin.com is... That's our, that's our baby. That's where we kind of have our whole variety of options. We do have a few select people um, and real stores that we kind of um, have partnered with who have a small selection of the clothes. But yeah, obviously newin.com is where, yeah, where everything is. We would go love, to place. Yeah, yeah, we would love to have some physical stores, but you know, as a startup, it is hard yeah. to, to invest enter, right? so much mm. money into that. Yeah. Okay, but what are you working on that as well? I think there's um, some really interesting ideas about how to maybe transform that current way people shop in general. Yeah. So there's some nice ideas floating around around that, but we there's n definitely not anything we have in the coming months where we think, yeah, this is we're going to have a store. So okay. yeah. um, obviously, shipping and packaging is, yeah. plays a huge role in going greener in the future for. Yeah, what we're seeing here for clothes as well. Um, what do you, how do you tackle that? Yeah, so I think shipping in general for all e-commerce is one of the biggest issues to be solved in terms of sustainability because, of course, you can do things like carbon offset and be carbon neutral, mm -hmm. but that's not really the solution. So I think, in general, what brands can do is be the best they can be right now. So, for example, us... Um, we even try and say to our customers, like, really think about your purchase before you, you do it because the return, obviously shipping it, the return as well, that whole process contributes, mm -hmm. right? So even having those things in mind. Um, but with, in terms of our packaging, our poly bags that we use are 100% biodegradable, they're compostable, our cardboard is recycled um, in the cardboard boxes. So this is kind of as good as we feel it can be, but yeah. we're definitely waiting for new solutions to kind of hit the And market. for that return solution, I think it's also very important to have a size solution on your website that is helping the customer to find the right size for them. Because as Marcus said, 60% of all items that are bought are being returned, and that's an enormous big yeah, number. Yeah, that's a huge yeah. potential. Yeah. 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 Um, like, it's always important to get the product as long as possible on the people, I would yes. say. Um, do you have a repair service or anything like that? Do you have Are a what, you re sorry? repairing stuff? So as of right now, no. But I think, again, a big opportunity for the future for New Inn would be to have its own second-hand marketplace. So we could offer customers the option to either sell their clothes back to us or back to other customers. And in turn, they would maybe get, I don't know, a coupon for their next purchase on New Inn. This would be really cool. Um, but yeah, I think a lot of these work where you can go and mend your clothes is really great. But again, a lot of that happens in a physical store. So we aren't there yet, but it's definitely something that we want to have in the future, I think. Um, and just another thing to point on that note about, yeah, when people's clothes are finished and everything being designed for circularity, and these are all really good steps for everyone now, and most fashion brands should be putting this at the forefront of what they do. But I think the big issue is still in customers knowing how to recycle their clothes yeah that for me i see a real opportunity in the space for somebody or you know organizations governments i don't know to put some standards in place that make it easy for someone if their if their clothing is okay this is 100 percent designed for circularity i know that when i finish with this i can go and drop it somewhere take it and that will be repurposed and yeah. reused that for me is like a big shift that needs to happen and you mentioned that you have been to the green tech festival in september right What's the feeling for you right now standing here and presenting your company? It's amazing, especially looking around, seeing all the other companies that are doing so much good work for the future. It is really motivating, to be honest. And then also speaking with people like you about our brand is a very wonderful feeling, especially thinking about the situation we're in still right now yeah. in the global pandemic. Yeah. yeah, I just think it's amazing to be with I always say, like, to really have an impact on the world, it needs collaboration. So just to be surrounded by all these different industries and, and people leading the way is, is inspiring for us as well. So it's really cool. And it's huge having you here at the Green Tech Festival as well. Thank you yeah. very much, Stefanie and Thank Marcos. You. Thank you. It was huge meeting you. Thank yeah. you. Thank, Thank you. you so much.